Right then, good morning. We are live for the morning stretch. Psychedelic live. Okay. How we will start today is by standing. Feet are gonna be shoulder width, hip hinging. We're gonna go right down, right down to begin with, okay? Slide your hands down your thigh, pass your knee down your shin, pause it to the bottom, just pause it to the bottom, and then take a deep breath in. We're gonna go in together. The deep breath will last five seconds. And we're gonna do that now. So five, four, three, two, one. And then I want you to hold the breath for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna let the air go for six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold the breath and the arms are gonna go up, all the way up, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna take a deep breath in, five seconds, and the arms are gonna go to the outside, semicircle, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna hold the breath with your hands in front of your thigh, five, four, three, two, one, and you're gonna let the air go for six seconds as we go all the way down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold the breath for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna let the knees collapse so that we can go down into a squat. You're gonna breathe as normal. Go down into a squat, and then round your upper back so that your hands are flat on the floor and you're gonna leverage your body a little bit forward so you're putting a, quite a bit of pressure on your wrists and just hold that pose and then you're gonna bring one knee down on the floor bring one knee down on the floor and the other foot that is stabilizing you you're gonna bring it right out and you're gonna put your hands next to that foot so you've got two hands next to each other, and one of the hands is next to the foot. Whichever side that you are now flexing, I would like you to hip hinge forward so that you're getting a nice deep stretch on that bent leg in front of you on the inside of the thigh. And we're going into a lizard type lunge, just holding that stretch, and then what I'd like you to do is slide your hands up, so you're going to get your upper body up, and you're going to bring your arms all the way up, really get a deep stretch, deep stretch, and I would like you to lace your fingers, lace your fingers, so you've got your palms now facing top of your head, cranium. And then I want you to flip your hands over so your palms are now facing the sky. And then I want you to leverage the arms slightly further back, feeling a little bit of tension. Top of the chest area where they meet your shoulders. A little bit of lower back tension. Just feeling that opening. Abdominal pull. You've got the bent leg, which the knees on the floor. You've got the hip flexor on that leg now being stretched and we're now going to release the laced fingers and we're going to bring our hands back to the original position that they were in front of your body next to your leg and once again we're going to hip hinge a little bit deeper and you should feel now a nice deeper stretch in the adductor on the leg that is now in front of you. On the side of you, in front of you. And what you're gonna do is release the hand that is closest to the leg. Release the hand that is closest to the leg. Place your hand on the inside of the knee and push it away. Just push it away. As you push it away, the hips, the adductor, hip flexors are all going to be pulled to a place 
that it's going to feel really good. And then after five, four, three, two, one, you're going to release. You're going to place the hands back to where they were. Slide that leading foot out. Make it into the trailing foot. And then the trailing foot, bring it up so they can become the leading foot. And once again, we're going to hip hinge forward slightly so we get a nice deep adductor stretch. Just hold it in that position. Trying to feel the inside of the thigh starting to open up, elasticate, stretch, flex. And then slowly release your hands from the floor. And we're going to go back up to that semi supine stretch. And like we did before, we're going to lace the fingers and we're going to allow the palms to face down so they're now above your head. And then we're going to flip the hands over so the palms now are facing to the sky. And we're going to leverage the arms back slightly so that you're getting a nice pull on both of the shoulders where they meet the chest. Got a bent leg, so the knee that's now on the floor on that same leg, your hip flexor is now being pulled. You should have your toes curled up, pressed against the floor, pushing the ground away as you're leaning back, stabilizing yourself, feeling that rush all over those arms. I'd like you to release the hands. Release them and then bring your arms back down to where they were originally. So we can place them back next to that foot that is waiting for us so that we can hip hinge and we can slightly pivot over and open up the, once again, hip flexor, adductor, on both legs simultaneously. Then what we're gonna do is release the hand that is next to the bent leg, place the hand on the inside of the knee and push the knee away. Push that knee away, opening up hip flexor again, inside of the thigh, the adductor, some glute, some piriformis, and then you've got the trailing leg that's been felt in that hip flexor. Just really feel that stretch, that opening. And then what we're gonna do is release that leg, put your hands back to where they were, slide the leading foot back, so you're now into that tabletop. We're gonna slide the hands out, and then we're gonna gently allow our upper body to travel itself down, so we end up with our forearms flush to the floor. And then once our forearms are flush, we're gonna allow the upper body to sink in. So you're gonna feel your scapula, your shoulder blades start to collapse. And then allow your forehead to go right down to the floor. If it makes contact, it's all good. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just go down as low as you can. You don't want no niggle, no pain, no uncomfortable feeling. Hey, did your team get approval? We're just from gonna legal? go natural. Sure. Just I'd hold that. When teams work in silos, hold that pose. Things get lost. Asana connects work hold that pose. Place. Visit asana.com <laughs> to try for free. Hold that pose. And we're going to hold that pose for another five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to slowly come up. You're going to slowly come up back into the tabletop. Hip hinge your hips over so your thighs are now going to be flush to the floor. And your head goes up and we're now in the cobra stretch. Now from the Cobra stretch, what we're gonna do is take a deep breath in, 
that breath is going to go in for four seconds. We're going to hold it for four seconds and then we're going to let the air go for five seconds. When we let the air go, our upper body is going to go down and we're going to get into the flat press up position and we're going to hold our breath for four seconds. And then we're going to take a deep breath in again, four seconds, and we're going to leverage ourselves up back in the Cobra. So we're going to do this now as a nice circular, productive motion. So when you're ready, we're going to go in now for four seconds. Four. We're going to hold the breath for four. And we're going to let the air go for five and allow our upper body to go down. So we're in the flat press up position and we're going to hold the breath for four. And then we're going to take a deep breath in for four and leverage ourselves up back into the Cobra. And we're going to hold the breath for four. And once again, we're gonna let the air go for five and allow the upper body to go right down to the floor. So we're in the flat press up position, holding the breath for four. And then one more time, we're gonna take a deep breath in for four, get back into the Cobra. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold the breath for four, three, two, one. And we're going to let the air go without bringing ourselves down for four, three, two, one. We're going to hold the breath for four, three, two, one. And now we're going to get back into that tabletop and then go into the prayer. Have a nice deep stretch, feeling the lower back open up, hips open up, glutes open up, lats open up. And from here, you're going to release one of your hands, whichever hand it's going to be, and you are going to travel it over so it crisscrosses the other hand. So you've got your hands now right next to each other but in the opposite way. And what I'd like you to do is lean, tilt towards the arm that is closest to the floor and just gently lean on that. So you're getting a nice, deep, lat stretch, both sides, but the side that you are leaning on is the one that you are giving most meaning. And after five, four, three, two, one, you're now gonna bring yourself back up. We're gonna go back to the center. As we're now in the center, we're gonna take a deep breath in. As we take that deep breath in, the other hand is gonna go over the stabilized arm. And the stabilized arm is now gonna collapse itself back down as we tilt the weight, transfer the weight over. Your breathing is yours. We don't wanna to concentrate too much, just breathing is yours. We just wanna get into the position. And now that we're in the position, we now go back to that breath. We take a deep breath in through the nose. We exhale from the mouth. We take a deep breath in through the nose. We exhale through the mouth. We take a deep breath in through the nose. We expel the air through the mouth. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And we expel the air through the mouth. And as we do that, we come back to the center. Come back to the center. And we push the ground away. We sit deeper into the prayer stretch. And just let our bodies just settle for a moment. Settle for a moment. As we take the time now, might be a good time to start thinking about that word. That word is gonna take you to your future self. For today, at the very least. Think of that word, it's gonna empower you, it's gonna empower others, 
going to make your day great, it's going to make other people's day great. That word, that mystical word, whichever word that you feel is appropriate on how your day will go. We're going to come up, and then as we're going to come up, we're going to slide one of the feet in front of the other knee, and we're going to then collapse the other body again, and we're going to go into a pigeon pose. This pigeon pose is there to open up the glutes, the piriformis, the lower back, the upper back, and just an all-round awesome stretch. Always thinking of that word, how you're going to deliver your value to the world, how you're going to deliver your value to you. We're going to be in this pose for the next five seconds. Just be present with not only the stretch, but your breath. And then we're going to slowly come out of that stretch. Place both the hands in front of you so that you're stabilized enough to slide that leg back to the original position. And then get the other leg to come up and bend itself at a 45 degree angle, 60 degree angle. And then what we're going to do is just allow the upper body to collapse over that leg. Get a nice flat stomach feel on the inside of your leg. And that hip flexor, those hips, glutes, piriformis, lower back, lats, all opened up. All opened up. And then after five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna come up for that. We're gonna come up, place both your hands flat again, slide your foot back so that your knees are in line, keep your toes into the ground, push the ground away, sit back into your hips one more time. As you sit back into your hips, you're gonna slide your hands, slide your hands, up towards your knee, get onto your fingertips so that you've got stabilization, slide your fingertips over so they're now running up your thigh, running up your thigh, let go of your thigh, come up and bring your arms up in this reverse semicircle motion, get right at the top and as you're right at the top what I'd like to do is slide one foot up slide one foot up and then put some pressure on that foot and leverage your upper body up with your hands up all the way see if we can do that well done awesome and then from there we're going to drop the hands down drop the hands down place the hands on top of the lower back and what we're going to do is bring your elbows in, lean back, support your lower back with your hands, and then just open up your body, open up the abdominals, the shoulders, the chest, hip flexors. Welcome yourself to the world, to the morning. Think of that word, think of your greatness. Take that word and deliver your greatness. I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds. Thinking about that word, thinking about how you're going to be presenting yourself to the world. Kukor, good morning. And thanking you always. <laughs>